so we have started another round of doing hay. Uh, this will be our third attempt at getting some in. This field that is being raked currently is a 15 acre field. Kind of hard to see the whole thing, um, but this is our next chunk that we're working on. We only need about two wagon loads to finish and fill our barn completely um, until second cut comes around. But this last field here is about an eight acre field and that also will be done the next round of good weather that we have. So this is not an easy undertaking. There are people out there that do way more than we do. Um, but I know for us, we're just a small operation. Um, we have a few people that are able to help us, which we sincerely and genuinely appreciate. Because again, this is just not, not an easy job. Um, people depend on you. I mean, my husband does this for us. Um, we are always, of course, the ones that get our hay in first, but that's just the way it does happen. Um, the person doing it is obviously going to make sure that their livestock is taken care of, but we also will bail out a few bales for people who are very desperate. Um, we have absolutely no problem at all doing that for them. But this is a lot of hard work, and I know people, when they wait on their hay guy, they might get frustrated because they're like, well, we're next in line. We should be getting a phone call. Why aren't we? You definitely will get a phone call um, from your hay person. As soon as they have it ready and it's ready to go down the road, I know my husband makes those phone calls and gets the people lined up, tries to give them a heads up because obviously it's just doing the best you can with a heads up. It's just not obviously always as easy as what one might think. So I'm going to take a little drive around here um, to try to get up on the hill so the top part can be seen. I sure couldn't do it by myself. So he rocks. All of our farmers, they rock. And you guys have a great day and take care. <laughs>